Right, hi guys. It's me again. And I'm going to do a video today, once again, about talking about my community idea. Now, the last time I made a video, the one where I'm in, dressed in my green outfit, okay, I noticed afterwards that on like any one of my videos, I actually got two thumbs down versus one thumbs up on that video since then. Naughty, naughty people! Now, hear me out. First of all, I'd like to know why that video got two thumbs down versus one like. Considering most of my videos and I talk about all this kind of stuff, very similar stuff plus other things, that I expected to get thumbs downs to. So I find that unusual that I got, a, you know, two thumbs down for that, my community idea. And it's where I did title it, like, you know, Victorian community idea. Maybe they didn't like the sound of that, because that's what every special community, as in aka cult, sounds like. It sounds like a cult because it's like, I said something like Victorian community thing, my idea of a community where we'd all talk online first, and then we'd actually build a real life community in real life and then all live there together where we all knew each other so it wouldn't be like so just hear me out okay because it's really annoying all right because so first of all i'd like to know like why you people didn't like the idea or just what about it didn't you like because i don't understand when i've talked about this kind of stuff quite often and i don't usually get thumbs downs for it but nobody commented saying why it was bad or whatever so just hear me out again so this is like I'm assuming people are, like, dead aware of cults now, so, like, oh, this sounds like a cult, we're gonna thumbs down it. Oh, so you can't see it, sorry. Purple. It's a purple heart ring, anyway. I just got it, so I'm dead excited about it. And the matching necklace. But, anyway, so... <clears throat> so, I'm assuming that's why it got two thumbs downs of all my videos. Even though I've literally been talking about this for years and no one's thumbs downed it, but... Just hear me out about this, so everyone talking, maybe thinking, oh, it's a cult or whatever. Right, so, let just hear me out, right? And again, I'm just assuming, because no one's giving me any feedback, because no one ever fucking does, but they dislike it. Sorry, swearing, shouldn't do that. Um, but just hear me out, because this is different. This is basically a good idea. So this is why I don't understand why I've got the two thumbs downs, because it's literally like everyone has this problem when they are different, or they like to dress different, and they go out there. They kind of don't want to change and dress normal like everyone else, but at the same time, they're afraid that when they go out there, they're going to get judged like they're going out. You, you see a stranger, and they're staring at you, looking at you like this. No smile, nothing, just pan face. You don't know what they're thinking or not, because they're not used to you. They might be thinking it's bloody brilliant you dress like that, however it is, like emo scene, goth, furry, theory, and whatever, Victorian outfit. I, I personally would love to go out dressed like this, and in my purple wig and my horns and everything. But personally, I would be kind of a bit worried that people would... Now, I don't care about people looking at me and judging me, it's more about like if they react, well, if it's a really bad reaction. Like, if they just say something or they're just giggling, then obviously that's safe. But I, I worry sometimes that... Because I've heard about stories of where someone's dressed up like this and actually got, like, a load of verbal or people have been nasty to them or physically doing something to them that's either painful or not pleasant. I've heard about these things. That's never happened to me in all the years I've been dressing different. But I know this is probably like a concern of mine because people seem to be getting more and more aggressive. And it's a concern for other people too. So that's why I thought it would be nice to make this community up where anybody who likes to dress different, where it, whether it's steampunk, Victorian, furry, theory, and goth or whatever, whatever they like to dress up in that's different, because we'd all know each other and be building up this community to actually live in, they could actually live in the kind of world have always wanted to because I personally would prefer to live in a place or town where I could go out dressed like this or in my other out various outfits and not have to worry about getting picked on or getting laughed at or judged or like not knowing what someone's reaction is going to be so it, in this community that you would have that because you'd know everyone and everybody expects you to dress different 
and they expect other people to expect them to dress different you know what i mean so that's what the community is about where we can just go and live in a community where um, everyone knows each other and they know what the community is about and what everyone there is about and we feel comfortable around actually live in an area where you can feel comfortable around everyone you live with instead of being like okay well they accept the fact that i dress like this but they don't they give me hassle and you know that's how it is in the wild as we're gonna call it the wild like the normal world is the wild this this specialized community is not the wild this is um yes an organized community so people will say that's what cults are like Okay, and yes, I get that there are a load of cults where they say, oh yes, come one, come all who's different and, you know, it's brilliant, you'll be accepted here, you'll be able to be yourself and maybe that's how communities start out and then they, they, go, they go off the rails and they go haywire and people end up either committing suicide or <laughs> some kind of death thing or some kind of torture. But yeah, that's, that's, that is what a cult's like, but this is not that. And it's unfair that whenever someone wants to create a community genuine for people who are different or for people who want to be accepted feel love and fear family we are penalized with thumbs downs or whatever or people judging that we're a cult like don't just assume everything's a cult because like i say it's 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 not fair on people who are genuine like genuinely want to create a community for people who are different to actually feel like you know a connection with others and feel like they belong like that's what i'm trying to achieve is a place where people can live in a community where they're not going to be like oh shit what's going to happen how are these people going to perceive me and how are these people going to react to me you know it's, it's unfair to them as well to the people who genuinely want to live in a community like this where they're going to know everyone and how they're going to react because they're going to expect you to be dressing different and be different so when you're in this community whether you're living here or whether you are just visiting or staying for a few days whatever it is that you're doing visiting for a day or you can you know you can expect other people to be dressed weird and you can expect to be accepted when you come and you dress differently. Just like when you go to these furry meets and ethereum meets and pup meets, you know that you can expect that everyone there is going to accept you for dressing differently. And you expect to see others dressed in certain weird clothes. Well, it's not like they even have a dress code where you, can, you have to dress like in pup gear. You can dress however you want. So you know it's all inclusive. So mine is what you would call an inclusive, but it's community. It's not just an event that you go to for one day, once a month, like with these ones. This is a place where you can live and stay as long as you want to, but you can also come and go as you please. You're not beholden to live here and live by our rules, but obviously there will be rules to keep everyone safe, but not the kind of rules whereby you're restricted. And like I say, it's cult-like where everyone's monitored and controlled but it will be to a degree obviously to keep people safe so there probably will be cameras and there will be rules in place obviously to keep that's how everywhere has to be okay so if people had a problem with that then obviously they can they're free to leave it's not like we're gonna excommunicate you the only time we would ex excommunicate you like they would in cults i guess is if you will actually cause trouble, then you'd be excommunicated. But if you've not done anything super offensive, then you're welcome, but you can leave. Like, if you don't like it, you can leave. Like, oh, I don't like these rules, or I don't like the way you do things, so I'm going to leave. Like, you can do that. You won't be excommunicated. You can come back if you want to, as long as you don't cause trouble, or try and turn everyone against me or whatever, or anyone in the group, you know? So that's all it is. <laughs> so that's what I just wanted to explain just in case the people who thumbs down it watch this and they are doing it because they think it's like a cult or something. Because I am hyper aware of this stuff because I watch a lot of cult documentaries of late and I realise now what a cult really is and I realise that, you know, people might think that mine sounds like a cult because it does always start out like dead good like this. But I just say give my community idea a chance because, you know... Like, you can...
I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know how I would, I would like prove it's not, but all I can say is just give it a chance. And no one has to live there or be a part of it. They can just, if they think it's a good idea, they can join us. And like I say, you don't even have to live in it. But, you know, I just say it is going to be like a living community because I think it would be nice to be able to live in an area where you can come and go as you please and dress however you please and identify as you please without having to deal with hassle from normies, as in normal people. Again, people you meet out in the wild. You don't know what you're going to get when you go out there. You don't know if you're going to get aggressive people. You don't know if you're going to get judgmental people, judgmental aggressive or judgmental, but they're passive. They don't do anything but laugh at you, snicker. I'll go, oh, 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 oh. I'll say some horrible Pakistani comment. Like, this is a community where people can feel safe and not have to expect that kind of behavior. So it's like a lot of times I personally would think I'd love to go out in a certain outfit that's a bit out there, a bit too different. But I think I better not because, you know, I, I might not be able to handle how people react to it. Like, if you're a person who is dead witty and clever and can come up with responses to people being a bit shitty when you go out dressed like this, then fantastic and I'm learning to be like this but it can feel a bit uncomfortable still when people are like that and sometimes I'm not quick enough because I'm not expecting it so I don't I can't formulate a response quick enough but I tend to just ignore them anyway but it can feel very uncomfortable so like I say imagine just living in a community or visiting a community where you can stay and escape sometimes and not have to worry about people judging you and thinking a certain way or even like I say harassing you or giving you grief in some way or being aggressive like that's all this is you can come and go as you please it's like freaking Disneyland okay it's gonna be like Disneyland I say it's like Disneyland but yeah I should act like it's already a thing <laughs> so let's do that yeah but I just need people to take an interest we have a few members at the minute I think about maybe five to ten members I need to count them there is a few, and, and there's a few more that have joined kind of unofficially. They're just like my community on YouTube so far and that I talk to online. But I want to not only make it like a big community online, but also, like I say, a real life one. So like I've said in my other videos, we can meet up in real life and have meets, like maybe monthly meets or as, as regular as you want to whenever people are available. And then eventually we can build it up in a com into a community where people can live in it. It'd be kind of like Disneyland or whatever. Disneyland or whatever. I say all oh, whatever because it's kind of like Disney World where it's like this magical world that you can go visit and stay at. And live it for a while, even if it's not permanent. Or you can come and live it forever. Like, whichever you want to do. And we just need a name for it. So far it's called House of Fluff because of the fluffs like I showed you before because everyone just loves these cute little fluffy creatures they're absolutely adorable now you can see my necklace and ring and all of them so yeah anyway so yeah that's all it is about so I just wanted people to know this if there's people who thumbs down my video watch this one and for anyone else who will watch this it's just a nice community idea and I would like to see it grow because I do have great plans for it it's gonna be great okay that's all for now don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you want more information about it talk to me in the comments I guess I'll have other contact details too as well